so this is our metal facility. Okay. And we're starting off by conventional furniture. That's restoration hardware, cocktail table bases, um, crit and barrel, and furniture components and whatnot. So this are all conventional furniture. So this is the shake six tier racking for the shelving that are running for Sam's Club. This machinery right here is what we call spot, wel spot welder. So to weld two shelves right now oh, yeah, yeah. is a less than 40 second procedure. Wow. So all they have to do Put on the wires yeah, yeah. and watch it go. Yeah. Oh my God, wow. So even with the relatively lower perception of cost in Vietnam, we're still trying our best to automate as much as we can. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. that really is the future. So an advantage for us is um, over the past 30 years, all of these products were in China before. Yeah, yeah. And they have designed the way to run it, yeah. the line to run it, the machinery to run it. Yeah. And what they're doing essentially is to we move everything in China right here, yeah, and yeah. we can just replicate I everything. I see, I see, yeah, yeah. This is our plating line. Okay. So, um, our tank is roughly about 92 inches by 42 by 50. Mm -hmm. So it's good enough to t uh, plate a headboard. And this is the reason how it was designed that way, is it was for furniture purpose. I see. But as we have explained, furniture in itself does not carry enough volume yeah, yeah. for us to sustain the even fair amount of cost on this, even if we're doing metal furniture. Yeah, yeah. So with now, you know, this line is running at full capacity with this metal shelving. Yeah, yeah. But it wouldn't be with just furniture. Right, right, right. So as you may very well know, technology is improving all of the time. Yeah, yeah. So for a Chinese plating you know, facility, um, because they are not built in the past three or four years, they don't have a full automatic line. They will still be efficient, but it, the way it's set up and the way it's run is a lot different if yeah. you have built a line right now compared to 20 years ago. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So this place is our test lab. Okay. Right now we're using it for two primary purposes. Mm -hmm. First, lab testing for contamination in the morning over here. Mm -hmm. So all of our metal plates are tested for contamination over on the tank first day in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, testing the water out of the water treatment plant. Oh, it's so right. we have to test to make sure every batch that we emit is uh, you know, accustomed to the local uh, laws and standards before That's we right. you know, uh, yeah. drain out the water. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll be in a lot of trouble. Yeah. So we're doing two tests every day. I see. Yeah. And over here it will be the standard salt spray testing the booth. Okay. I think we just had the Bobby Bird collection hardware tested yeah. for 96 hours. Wow. Wow. 5% salt. Gosh. And 1% or ho however many percent depending on what, you, what your requirements are. Yeah, yeah. And some wow. uh, pH testing uh -huh. and ovens. The primary reason for us to build this was that we were thinking of a transition between, you know, the European traditional genre, mm -hmm. which we were selling a lot of, yep. to this mixed media contemporary genre. Yeah, yeah. Seems like from five years ago, everything that was developed for every market had some sort of metal in it. Yeah, sure. So, and we were having a lot of delays back then when we were depending on other people. Yeah. Yep. So 
at least if you want to die, you die on your own shortfall, not die others. So yeah, we build yeah. a metal facility ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. So we're casting our hardware as well. Okay, yeah. Casting and plating. Okay. So this is our liquid coating, powder coating, okay. finishing line All for right. metal. Yeah. Over here you've got restoration hardware. You've got, let me see who's that for. That's some samples, I think, for rooms to go. Uh huh. Because Tianjin is imposing that 25% as well by, yeah. by the US. So a lot of the cheap Tianjin mm -hmm. metal products mm -hmm. are coming over as well. Mm -hmm. So this is our casting area. Okay. Yeah. And our packing area. Yeah. Packing line for shelving. I see. And packing line for regular furniture. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This time we are selling more than three. How much? No, no. Ray. That's restoration house. Eight eighty. Eight eighty. Eight eighty dollars. Wow. One show. Wow. I don't. I can retail must be. Uh, five thousand dollars. Wow. So no volume. Yeah, that's. <laughs> there's a customer for it. Well, good volume Obviously. for that price, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm amazed that they can even sell the product. Yeah, yeah. So that's some crate and barrel products as well. Yeah. Transition from China and more uh -huh. restoration hardware. Oh, I see, yeah. So this is our bread and butter for them. Yeah, yeah. The I-Beam collection. Mm -hmm. Wow. So as we were discussing, we we're just trying to make use of as much space as we can. Yeah. So this rack was just put up like last oh, month. I see, I see. <laughs> Save more space for... Yeah. Staging and loading. Yeah. These are the racks we are shipping to. That's a good photo. These are six tier yeah. commercial Remember, shelving. Remember the mark, commercial. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And who does this go to? This Sam's Club. Sam's, Sam's Club. Club. Sam's Club. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So our sample shop okay. at Thomas Carey yeah. and Whitewood Production Facility. Yeah. Do you all have humidity control warehousing? Right at the back. Oh, okay. Um, humidity control for WIP work in progress and also full humidity control warehousing for um, finished products. Okay. You need it in this country. So over here is a lot of vanity, as you can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because of the influx, we were just yeah. picking and choosing some of the mm -hmm. projects that we can get to. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, after yeah. Kenneth moves another five million in, I think this will probably go to Starwood. Yeah, yeah. Marble and Basin. Italian Carrara imported from Italy to China, fabricated to this. So we're trying to get this manufactured in Vietnam as well. Yeah, Based yeah. in right now, we're trying to do the same. Wow, wow. But as of now, they are all Chinese. Yeah. So this is our upholstery facility. Oh, okay. Okay, great. 
how I would say this is also due to the tariff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we wow. have sofa for Raymore and Flanagan. Yeah. Um, crate and barrel. Mm -hmm. When you were seeing on the video, it wasn't as busy as this one. Yeah, yeah. So this is some reclaimed pine for forehands. Oh, okay. What we're trying to clear up as we, you know, allocate most of our product products to vanity. As you know, it takes time. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not gonna happen in a heartbeat. Be careful. Oh, that's so fine. I don't know. Over. So another part of our uh, transition on to vanity is um, there isn't your conventional finishing, you know. Uh, because the human eye is very subjective in a lot of ways. Yeah, but for yeah. vanity finishes, it's just white gray. Yeah, I mean, yeah, more than 90% yeah. is white or gray solid wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. solid paint. So, what we do is you take a spectrometer, you measure it, and it's a yes or no. Yeah, yeah. There is never a case where it's a little bit yellow, it's a little bit red. That sort of thing in our industry where it happens all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, your white. Put it on a spectrometer, it matches, it matches. Yeah, yeah, Your gray, yeah. put it on a spectrometer, it matches, it matches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's no glaze, there's no um, pow uh, cowtail or any of the other sorts. So all it is, solid paint. Wow. This really is a huge part of your capacity here. I mean, it's like, what did you say it's eaten up about 30 to 40%? Yeah. Wow. And that's just over how many? Six months. Six From months. From zero to wow. 30%. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I do believe a lot of the big players are doing the same. Yeah, yeah. Like Shing Mark is converting one of their entire line, as I heard, to kitchen cabinets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've heard many people who are doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So we still have some leftovers or some other products. Yeah. But we would the focus is to get this line into vanity only. Yeah, yeah. And this is one of four lines, did yes. you say? Yeah, yes, okay. one of four lines. Yeah, yeah. Oops. And how soon do you think that will happen? Um, um, I think it'll happen next month. Yeah, yeah, okay. But this was a process from January to now. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. In August. So, yeah, yeah. I don't, as I said, you are totally right on the people who is able to ship after one month of announcing yeah, anti-dumping. Yeah. That's yeah, some yeah. incredible skill. Yes, yes, sure. It is. Yeah, yeah. So, we'll, walk, uh, we'll be walking across to the uh, material okay. warehouse and we have a resin line. Okay. Polyurethane resin line. All right. Which is really, to this day, not much used to it. Oh, I there see. There's still some European traditional genre. Yeah. But for yeah. us, it's really dying down. I see, I see. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this is all humidity controlled, I yes. guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Humidity controlled yeah. warehouse. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot of stuff. Yep. Yeah. This is just work in progress warehouse. Is it? Okay. And not, oh, this very, is very part of it, not a staging warehouse. Staging so, warehouse. Yeah, so okay. we're not exactly building an inventory for a lot of people. So mm -hmm. there's one or two, but that was it. But every, everything else is ready to ship. It, so it ships almost immediately, in yeah. other words. So when you say staging, how long does it stay here, roughly? If it's just regular staging, about two to three weeks, no more than that. Yeah, yeah. So this is our uh, resin facility. I believe you've seen it on the video. So yeah, yeah. I would say five years ago, this was a lot more vibrant and a lot more yeah, yeah. products. But now wow. we've, uh, we are moving towards accessories or mirrors. Yeah. That's our thing because the European traditional market is just shrinking. This is how resin is casted. 
By crank. Come into the veneering workshop. Oh, okay. ART products. Mm-hmm. Marker tree upstairs. And a panel. Oh, yeah. Line just for ART. Okay. Yeah. All right. We move all the products here, and also you can see those are the Bobby Bird. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this is primarily where we finish all of our ART products. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah those are all ART groups. So pretty much at any point in time, this is always running something from ART. Right. Yeah. Okay. Wow. For Bobby Burke, we ordered about 6,500 items. Wow. And the first container is Ray shipped two weeks ago, a week ago? Two weeks. So. Uh, That's 75 days lead time, which is. Which is a lot really faster. good for a first production run. Yeah, so. yeah. So you said 75 days? Wow. But it's a rarity these days, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks to ART support on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably difficult to get that level of coordination, yeah. you know, if you if you weren't a team member. So yeah, yeah. So these are all chairs from the Bobby yeah. Burke. Yeah, yeah. And beds on yeah, yeah. the other end. Okay. Um, some beds as well with our upholstery and rails. So pretty much anybody the the, the retail launch on this is October one. Mm -hmm. So pretty much the only people that are going to be able to launch it are those who got their orders in early enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So October 1, this will be uh, at retail. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So those walnut cases are Bobby Burke as well? Yeah. 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 Wow. Different finishes on one group. It's more yeah. of a simplified product range here yeah, like yeah. this versus a lot of the more heavily ornate things. Yeah, yeah, sure. So. Yeah. So the line's pretty much long enough to run three or four different finishes on it at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Now, better we're just running one color all at the same time, but yeah, yeah. You know, the way that we make product and we process orders, yeah. sometimes it'll end up with about three or four different colors on it. Oh, I say, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this is a upholstery oh, okay. line for ART. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is cool. This is a new Yeah. This is some of the expertise that Marco has lent as well. Yeah, yeah. Some of the tufting. Pretty impressive. Look at these headboards here. It's really dramatic. So this is ART and who else in here? Is uh, there is some Regency direct business. Okay. But that was from a long time ago, which oh, okay. is the ones that you're seeing right now. Yeah, yeah. But most of the ART. But mostly ART. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this is a good uh, example of what what Starwood can do really well. You know, really good frame capabilities here. Yep. All these are plated parts from the uh, metalworking factory. Oh, wow. Factory. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You can see all the way around here. All these That's parts great. come from metal, and then they're hand strapping this. Mm -hmm. So, it's a, and for us, adding an accent here with all those different elements is yeah, yeah, yeah. finding a place to make those. Yep. Yeah. That's another good example of this mm -hmm. metal frame. 
on yep. these chairs. Yeah, by the way, and so. sets. Yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Tom Russell, and I am here with a wonderful group of people with Markor and Starwood and ART and Home Insights Turnkey. So we're here, we took a, a fabulous tour of the Starwood furniture plant, the TC furniture plant, and the RC furniture, or metal plant, metal fabrication facility that supplies a lot of metal parts and shelving and things like that. So um, we, we got a lot of ground covered here. And uh, I just want to thank Thomas Luck. My pleasure. Thomas, thank My you pleasure. so much for My your pleasure. time and, and inviting yeah. you to, to your wonderful facility here. It's been great.